With only three days to go until the opening ceremony, our Darling Downs Olympians are beginning to finalise their preparations before the Games get underway. But if the women's rugby seven squad are feeling the nerves of the occasion, it certainly isn't showing. With their first Olympic outing on Sunday, you'd expect the sevens girls to be a bundle of nerves. But it's just good vibes and positivity all round among one of Australia's gold medal favourites. Everyone was smiling, everyone's patting you on the back, encouraging you to keep going. Alara's Matthew Denny hasn't arrived in Rio yet. He's in Florida training with Australia's athletic squad before taking on the world's best. The discus thrower putting up this video of his preparations ahead of Friday's qualifying rounds. Meanwhile, back home, Claire Kiefer couldn't contain her excitement. Following yesterday's news, the thrower was named in the Australia's athletic squad for next month's Paralympics. Officially stoked. I was always stoked, but now I can finally tell people. The Toowoomba girl produced her A qualifiers months ago, all but locking in her spot, but that didn't stop the tide of relief when she got the official email. Most athletes second, like, guess themselves, and I did that a bit, but now it's finally out and open and I can finally say I am officially going to Rio. She's one of the Downs region's best medal chances, having placed third at the World Championships in Doha, but says to do it on the Paralympic stage will mean so much more. I'm a little nervous, but I'm excited to just finally get over there and compete and see what happens. Tom Fowles, 7 News. The 29 best American college rugby players braved the cold at Downlands this morning for a training run ahead of this weekend's game against the Downs rep side. They didn't come all this way for a kick and giggle, though. They want to see if they can match it with the boys from Oz. On paper, it looks like a daunting prospect for the Downs rep boys. The 29 men selected for this tour will more than likely become the US team of the future. But there is one problem for the college side. They barely know each other, let alone having played together. It's always going to be a bit rushed. This is our second day training together, so it's a little awkward. Guys coming from all over the country. Not that the coach is too worried. These boys all play for, for pretty high-end colleges in the United States, so they would have played against each other quite a lot. A number of them would have played together either on their own college teams or for the US under 20s. For the players, it's an opportunity many of them probably never thought they'd have let alone in a country where rugby is not the native sport. I always wanted to go to Australia, but never thought I'd be on a big tour with a national team over here. It's pretty incredible. While Niall is an English expat, a good chunk of the team stem from the recent surge of support for the game in the States off the back of the success of Sevens. It's almost exploded. It's uh, When I first got there about three years ago, it was a lot smaller and, I mean, it's continuing to grow through sevens and, and through fifteens now, so it's pretty brilliant. But what they might lack in experience, they make up in raw talent. And Gavin Hickey, for one, believes the sheer strength and speed of the team makes them a dangerous proposition. It is exceptional. I've never seen athletes like the USA can boast. Um, as I said, rugby's growing a lot, so more and more of these athletes are going towards rugby. Tom Fowles, 7 News. And Toowoomba driver Cameron Shields will go into the final two rounds of the Formula 3 Championship with the national class already locked up following an incredible run at Ipswich. Shields beat out drivers in the superior championship cars to claim his first outright win in race one and then record podium finishes in his other two races. Comes off the back of a series of solid performances from Shields. He's failed to finish short of a podium in any of the rounds so far. He now has a month off before racing in Phillip Island in round six.